what's happening everyone it's your boy here Abdurrahim back again with another great amazing video tutorial actually today we're gonna um, do a tutorial of Premiere Pro and uh, our tutorial of today it's only one simple stuff so I won't dive in too much and take a bunch of your time it's just something which is really simple you see there's a tool called corner pin well it's really best working with it when it comes to placement of your videos in a certain kind of mock-up and stuff so enough talking let's dive okay i'm inside premiere pro and something which is so great first thing first i'm gonna drag my um kind of layout in my timeline just like that as you can see guys we have our layout here now as you can see on this tv i want to place my video this will be my video so i may be taking it from the beginning so i may just drop it up to here so i won't take all of it just half of it like up to there i'm gonna close or delete this one just like that and after that you can see our video is somewhere there now if i'm trying like um to scale in to zoom in on my layout like 75 so as you can see we just zoom out up to there now give it more room at least like 50 and somewhere there so you can see everything there steady now something which is so great about it is just that if you go to the effects control you can control the positioning on how you want your videos to be so if I'm just positioning it this way it will position great but you see the edges are a little bit choppy so if I just fit you'll see it's not actually there now you might be asking yourself scaling it is the best way well yes scaling it might be the best way but still it's not yet there now we i'm gonna readjust each positioning like i'm gonna start on this corner but i can't see it well so i'm gonna zoom in up to 50 so i'm gonna just uh, scroll up and scroll down somewhere here so i'm gonna adjust it to be somewhere here somewhere there now i'll go to the effects and i'll type corner pin you see there's an effect called corner pin drag your effect and drop it down on your video then drag your effect drop it down on the video this video which you wanted to do the corner pinning not the mock-up okay after that and you'll just stay somewhere there now you see there is upper left on the effects here there is upper left there is upper right now if i just like on the right side i'm on the right side this one here you can see there's a pin here so if i can um adjust this pin by dragging it you can see it's just the dragging it starts the dragging but best way to use this tool because if you start dragging it it won't be that much seamless it depends on with your machine but using like values it's really really getting things there you can see things that are becoming a little bit greatly so i'm gonna just try going up to um like 25 percent outside so after that you can see we have the left we can try which one is our left and which one is our right so you can see that's our left it's lower left so I need an upper one, upper right, which is upper right. You can see you try just to tweak around. Okay, voila, there we get our upper right. Now I'm gonna adjust it, just somewhere here. Drag it, drag it, drag it, and bring it up. Change the values, change the values. Keep on changing, or bring the values up, bring the values up so as it can match with the upper left. So just bring the values up up to there just be patient don't take things real quickly then after that then I'm gonna change it to be a little bit somewhere there but to be seeing this action in a really precise way just zoom in so as you, you don't make any kind of mistake so. Okay, right now as you can see guys we're having our corner pin from the um, lower upper right and let me just zoom in up to here this one it's okay 100% because we aligned it for the first um, kind of alignment so right now I'm gonna scroll down and go to this um, kind of corner pin so this corner pin it's um, lower lower right so we're gonna adjust the lower right
so somewhere there and I'm gonna drop this one down somewhere here and if I just go all the way to fit so as you can see guys we have fitted our video there so it's time to render I guess the thing about this tool is all about how much your machine can perform just just be patient and wait if your machine is gonna like you know you know what I'm saying so just be patient do it slowly slowly then after you're done just do some quick rendering and voila we're inside our video so you can see the video is playing there and very nice and great and yeah up to there I just made it up to there so you can extend your timeline video of the second how much you want the seconds to be so even this video you can extend it up to here so as you can see mine it's gonna extend up to there then rendering stuff so you see the red line is just the rendering and stuff you can see my video there how it is very great and amazing looking so using the corner pin it gives you some robust and amazing kind of uh, mock-up pointing of your scaling or where you want it to be so that's what's up thank you guys for watching and i'll be seeing you guys on the next one as always stay sharp and creative and kudos peace